Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This week I'm going to take you through all of my bulk buys because we're going to Costco and I thought I'd just show you what they have there for vegans and how I'm going to basically meal prep around the foods that I buy. So obviously meal prepping for me is really important because as a junior doctor, I don't have much time during the week to kind of cook meals at home. I don't really have that luxury. So having things all prepared and planned out is super important. It allows me to stick to my nutrition goals and it makes sure that I have everything that I need basically. So what I do is I basically buy all of my food and then I'll create a meal plan for the week. I've been doing a meal plan more than just counting macros every day because I felt that a meal plan was actually a lot better. It took a lot of the thinking away from having to make meals. So now I literally just follow a meal plan, which I'll show you how I'm going to make, but just make it off Canva. Yeah, I'm gonna see what bulk buys I can get at Costco and I'm gonna take you through them. And then we're gonna see how I'm going to meal plan for this week around what I can buy. We did go Costco the other week and I did see a couple of items there that I was interested in, but I wasn't ready for a big shop, so. This time it's going to be a big shop, we're going to do a lot of prepping and yeah, I thought I'd just take you through this. I am still in my calorie deficit, so I'm about four weeks in now and I'm kind of just tracking as I go to see how long I want to do this for. I have kind of my own measurements in mind in terms of body fat percentage and weight that I'd like to be down to before I stop because ideally I would love to go into a very, very long lean bulk. So I really need to prepare for that because you see, I will put on fat during that time. If I get as lean as possible now, that's really gonna help me in the future, especially with my body image and stuff when I go into my bulk. So let's go to Costco. <laughs> and I have a lot of food here I spent a lot of money but when I unpacked it all I realized I've actually got a lot of meals here and I feel like this is going to last me quite a long time that's what I'm hoping anyway so I thought I'd just go through with you what I found especially all of the vegan stuff so I found quite a lot of foods that were vegan which is really great for me so start off with protein I always buy packets of tofu usually during the week and this whole block of tofu, I think it was around six pound. There are four packs of 280 grams in each. So for me, each pack is two servings. So this is about eight servings of tofu here, which is obviously really good. 
um, and it was a lot cheaper than it would be in the supermarket. And then I've got a massive crate of chickpeas, so I like to eat chickpeas during lunches because they're super quick and easy to make and I even roast them in the oven. They are slightly lower in protein, which is why I have them for lunch and not really for dinner. And also I'm going to start making some seitan, which uses chickpeas in them. So that is why I've bought the chickpeas today. I also bought some paratta. So I really like Indian flatbreads and I'm thinking I can make a nice chickpea topping to go on that and have that for lunch. That's just something to keep in the freezer for just a quick, simple lunch. Then I found some sweets. So these are vegan, sour. They are quite hard, so I don't know if I'll buy them again, but still nice. And then I found these, which are like Canadian maple biscuits. They're very similar to the Biscoff cream biscuits, but I think they they use maple syrup instead. And I found that they were vegan. I checked the ingredients and no non-vegan ingredients. So that's great. So just some sweet treats, some light cheese, because I love light cheese. This is a massive pack of pasta. This is three kilograms of spaghetti. So I'm gonna be making spaghetti because that's a super simple dish. I also found some plant-based meatballs that I can use for the spaghetti. Lots of passata, so that's going to be the tomato base for my spaghetti. A big, big pack of stir fry vegetables. I thought I would basically just put this on the side of every meal, so I only take a tiny bit out at a time and just kind of, I don't know, fry it up or steam it or however I fancy having vegetables that evening because I feel like I need to add more vegetables into my meals. This is 2.5 kilos, so I feel like that's going to last me a very, very long time. I got some rice. This brand of rice is really, really good. We've had it before. It's really like sticky rice, I think. So I really like this rice. This wasn't too expensive either. I think it worked out to about one pound per two sets of rice, if that makes sense. So 50p per rice. And then some dried couscous. This is really nice because it's got dehydrated vegetables in it. So this is super, super quick and simple. And I thought it could also go with my chickpeas if I fancy it for lunch. So I'm trying to give myself as many options as possible with the meal so that I don't get bored of having the same thing. So I can switch it up if I feel like it. And then I found these, which I thought looked really nice. They're like chocolate fins with coconut almonds and salt i'm really enjoying dark chocolate at the moment i feel like it's so much better for you than regular chocolate and i'm just actually really enjoying it more than the vegan chocolate that i found so these were vegan so i hope i'm gonna like them and i thought i could just snack on them when i kind of need that that chocolate kind of craving this is korean barbecue sauce so i love to marinate my tofu with sauces that i love and I thought this Korean barbecue sauce would be really, really nice. So then finally, we bought a couple of sets of bagels. So these are six bagels in here. So two packs of six bagels. I think it was five pounds. So that's pretty decent for fresh bagels. So yeah, so that is all of my Costco bulk shop. This cost me £91, which sounds like a lot, but I feel like... I have a lot of meals here and I only need to be shopping for the odd bits, for example, like my yogurts, my plant power bread, just little things like that. So I feel like it's massively going to help with spending money in the supermarket. And yeah, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to meal plan and how I'm going to prep my meals for this week. I'm going to do it all on Canva and really sort out everything I can do with all of this food. So yeah.
meal planning and I thought I'd just take you through some of the meals that I'm going to be making. As you can see, I've been making my meal planner on Canva. This is just a template that is completely free to use. It's really handy because I can just grab my phone and load it up on here because it's all on the website and I can do it on my laptop every week. It kind of feels like a bit of a ritual for me at the moment for me to start off the new week. Today is currently Monday, so usually I would do this over the weekend, but I was working this weekend, which is why I couldn't do it. So I'm going to go through the kind of meals that I'm going to be making. I'm going to put it all up here so you guys can see. But obviously starting off today, so the bagels that I bought from Costco, Marmite and Biscoff. Marmite is great to bump up that protein in your breakfast because Marmite is really high in protein because it comes from yeast. So that's a super good trick if you're wanting to have toast and you don't really know what to put on top to increase the protein but kind of keep your fat steady, then Marmite is great. And then for lunch, I'm going to do a barbecue tofu on top of the paraffas that I bought and I'm going to top it up with some cheese. I'm also going to be making some seitan nuggets. So there's a recipe that I saw that I'm really excited to make where you use vital wheat gluten to make seitan nuggets and also half a can of chickpeas. I feel like that's going to be really, really tasty. All I'm gonna do is bake them in the oven and toss them in some barbecue sauce that I got from Costco. And I'm obviously going to be using the vegetable mixes in every main meal just to make sure I'm hitting my micronutrients as well. So it's pancake day tomorrow. So I'm going to be making protein pancakes tonight and then I'm going to have the rest tomorrow. So that's going to be my pudding. And I'm also going to have some of the little chocolate fins that I bought. Obviously to finish my day, it's really important to make sure my protein's nice and high. Because tomorrow is pancake day and Wednesday is Valentine's day, I'm going to be using more of my clear protein scoops to make sure I'm hitting my protein goals still, just because I'm having a few snacks that are lower in protein, which just means that I need to bump up my protein in another way. And then what I usually like to do is make a meal plan for a maximum of four days. And I like to try and follow that same meal plan unless I'm doing anything different on some of the days. And by doing that, I know what I'm eating. I know when I'm going to be eating it. It just becomes so much easier in terms of meal prepping. So it means I can make a meal and I can make four servings and I know that my dinner is all prepared and ready for when I get home from work. So you'll see that my main meals repeat, so my seitan nuggets, I'm going to make four servings for that. Okay, so coming on to Thursday, so that's when Valentine's Day is over, so obviously I'm not really going to be doing much. So this is where I'm just going to go back to having my regular kind of amount of clear protein and having my yogurt bowls as my snack in the evening. And then Friday is very similar as well. Saturday is when I'm going to be doing my vegan mince bowl. I actually really love this meal. I don't know if I've put it on here, but if not, I'll put a clip in above. But it is so simple. It's literally just a vegan mince, which is only a couple of ingredients because it's reconstituted soy chunks. I mix in some soy sauce and some barbecue sauce, toss it in the frying pan with some edamame, rice, and vegetables. Super quick and easy meal, and it's always fresh. So I love making that. So I'm going to be doing that at the end of this week. And then for the morning of the weekend, I'm going to be eating my protein oats just to make sure I'm bumping up my protein. Then I'm gonna make mango chutney chickpeas on barafas for my lunch, and then back to my yogurt bowl and my clear protein. And yeah, so that is going to be my meal plan for this week. I do find that some days I spontaneously end up doing something. So all I do is I go on my phone, I look at what I'm meant to be eating, I try to move things around because I really think that this is all about balance. And even though preparing can help you achieve your nutrition goals, I do feel like you need to also find that balance of when it's okay to spontaneously go out for dinner, for example, or, you know, I fancy a bit of cake tonight, I'm gonna have a bit of cake instead of doing this, but how can I work around that? So for me, it's all about fitting into macros and giving myself that allowance of if I have any cravings for a certain food, to try to fit that into my meal plan. And by doing that, I end up avoiding episodes where I want to eat a lot of food, essentially. So yeah, so that is my meal plan and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please like and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have wonderful days and I'll see you next week.